Hi and welcome along to AFTV Transfer Daily, the show that keeps you up to date with players that have been linked with a summer transfer move to Arsenal. And a new rumour emerges today. This is the supposed replacement for Jamie Vardy if he doesn't decide to sign for Arsenal. We're being told that Arsenal will move in for Edison Cavani. Edison Cavani has been mentioned over the past couple of seasons here on Arsenal Fan TV and has always been constantly linked with a move to Arsenal, uh, now being linked again. Age 29, the same age as uh, Vardy, by the way. And uh, Cavani, uh, we've been told, has uh, turned down a lucrative move that would have taken him to China. It's a Sunday Express report in this today. Uh, he could have went to China. They were willing to pay him up to £500,000 a week. They're paying some crazy money over there in China. Um, that's hard to turn down, trust me. But he's apparently turned down um, a lucrative offer of £500,000 a, a week because uh, he said that he would like to play in the Premier League. Scored 19 goals last season. Over the years, has had a pretty prolific goal-scoring record, particularly when he was playing at Napoli. That's when he was really, really big. He's gone to PSG, has had to sort of play second fiddle to Zlatan Ibrahimovic um, over the years. And I don't know, is it, is it still the same Cavani as back in the day? Is, it, is he still the same force? I mean, I know he scored 19 goals last season, but let's face it, that French league is, I mean, they cruised it, didn't they, PSG? So it's hard to really base it off of that. It's just, is Cavani, is he still the same force? I mean, in the Champions League, um, up against teams like Chelsea now, he did decently. But, I don't know, would people be as excited about Cavani as they used to be? Um, is Cavani actually a better signing as well than Jamie Vardy? I think he'd be a lot more money. Um, there's no sort of talk on the money, but I'd say you've got to be talking 30 million plus couple of seasons ago, it was 60, 70 million you were talking for Cavani. But I'd say now, with his age and that, probably 30, 35 million. Would it be a, a worthwhile move? I was suggesting Lacazette yesterday, but would Cavani be a better alternative? Uh, let me know. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think of these rumours of Edison Cavani uh, joining Arsenal. Arsenal also linked today with a guy called Elsad Hassaj. I hope I pronounced that right. Um, he's an Albanian international. We saw him playing for Albania yesterday against Switzerland, which, by the way, Granit Xhaka had a great game. Um, was very impressed with Xhaka. Um, but anyway, getting back to what we're talking about, Elside Haisaj is an Albanian international, currently plays for Napoli. Uh, he's a right back, but he's very versatile. He can play either on the left or the right. 22, so still very, very young. And as I said, play for, for Albania yesterday was decent. Uh, we've been told that Arsenal have been interested in him for about the last 12 months. Uh, there's other clubs interested in him like uh, Barcelona, Manchester United apparently have been looking at him. And uh, Wenger sees him as a player that is versatile enough to come in and be able to create cover for both positions on the left and on the right. And we know that Arsenal Wenger likes those, those type of players. Uh, bit thing that the link all sort of all of a sudden appears as soon as Albania playing their first game of the Euros but I think you're going to get a lot of that this um, Euros you know what I mean players that have a decent game and then emerge with a link straight behind them based off of what um, they've done in the Euros but he's linked with a move to Arsenal today listen I was thinking about it. obviously Debucci is going to be going um, so Debucci is going to be leaving Arsenal. We know he went out on Bordeaux, went out to Bordeaux on loan. Uh, Carl Jenkinson's been injured, so I don't know if he'll be ready in time. So we do need a right back. We've, in effect, you've got. I know you've got Callum Chambers who can cover there. Callum Chambers to me not really a right back, more of a centre back. We do really need a right back. So I can see why Arsenal could be looking at a player like him. There's also Rafinha, who uh, plays for Bayern Munich. Uh, he's the Brazilian. He's 30 now, so he's uh, getting on a little bit. But he's a decent player. We've been told also that's another player that Arsenal are having a look at and thinking to himself, well, you know what? Another guy, versatile enough to, to cover in any of those um, sort of right-back, left-back positions for the club. And 
Arsenal obviously looking at a player like that. And of course, the Ricardo Rodriguez, who again also played yesterday. The rumours are still flying around about Ricardo Rodriguez. He's a left back though. And as I said, that right back position, we've got Hector Bellerin and it's all great. And Bellerin's playing right um, brilliantly at the moment. But what if Bellerin got injured or what if Bellerin's form uh, fell off? We do need like a right back. So you can see why some of these links are coming in. And Ricardo Rodriguez, even though he can, he can play on the left, uh, High Sage and Rafinha could also, could all kind of make a little bit of sense. Um, but let's see what happens uh, with that one. Let's get into what you guys had to say yesterday. Um, I asked you yesterday the question about Lacazette. Is Alexander Lacazette a player worth um, Arsenal making a move for? Because we've seen what's happening with Vardy. I think Vardy's crazy if he doesn't come to Arsenal. Look at last night. He didn't get onto the pitch. Even though, for me, Harry Kane didn't have the greatest of games for England. I thought, of all the England players, I thought his performance was just average. I'm sure if Vardy was playing, he was playing for Arsenal. And whether you like it or not, these things happen. When you're playing for these big clubs, it pushes your name out there further. If Vardy was an Arsenal player, I just get the feeling he would have come on the pitch last night. Um, but playing for Leicester, you're easy to drop. That's just the way it is. So, but anyway, that's up to Vardy. We was talking about Lacazette. Uh, Lee Amos said, uh, Giroud can get into the French squad, yet Lacazette can't. I'm not going to pretend I know anything about the guy, but that doesn't look good at all. <laughs> it's, 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 a, it's, a very, it's a very good point. It's a very good point. Um... Olivia Giroud says, uh, it's his handle name, he says, it might be a bit outrageous, but why don't we go in for Diego Costa? He's fast, powerful, a good finisher, and wants to leave Chelsea. He's got a mean streak, exactly what Arsenal need. He's younger than Vardy, and he will show Arsenal's intent in actually winning the league. I'm not sure about Diego Costa. Number one, I don't think there's any way Chelsea would sell Diego Costa to Arsenal, and uh, I'm not sure about Diego Costa, I'm not sure. Um, Jay Lyric said, Rami played very well with Koscielny on uh, Friday. Um, if he's always like that, he could do a good job for Arsenal. Yeah, okay. Uh, somebody goes on to say he wasn't good enough for Crystal Palace, so why would we, why would we want him? And let me get in uh, a couple of others. Uh, Anur says, I would prefer Lacazette over Vardy all day long. That's what he says. All day long, he would prefer him. And Eric says, I want Lukaku. He can do anything and would score more if he had our team backing him. Plus, he's very young. So, listen, there's other targets out there apart from Lukaku. As I said yesterday, I just hope that Arsenal are not pinning all their hopes on Vardy. Because um, there are other targets out there. Apart from Vardy, I said Lukaku. Apart from Vardy, and Arsenal must get a striker. Must get a striker this summer thanks for watching don't forget to um check us out again we'll be back here around about the same time tomorrow for any of the coverage on the euros get over to the man like robbie channel uh we, we we've been doing some excellent stuff on the euros and also don't forget look out for a video that we've got coming up today talking about um the performances of granite shaka um aaron ramsey and jack wilshire who all all featured um in the euros yesterday we're covering all the arsenal players over the duration of the Euros. Thanks for watching. I'll be back tomorrow.